They've found a flesh-eating parasite in the U.S. They found a flesh-eating parasite in the U.S. and it's far more than a horror movie. All right, hold on to your squeamishness. But the CDC and Maryland health officials have confirmed the first human case in the U.S. of the New World, Screwworm, a parasitic fly whose larvae burrow into living flesh. This came from someone who traveled to Central America. Reports vary between Guatemala and El Salvador, then turned up in Maryland. Except before you press the panic button, officials say the public health risk is very low. But listen, this is not just about an unlucky traveler. Screwworms nearly wiped out U.S. cattle decades ago. We eradicated them in the 1960s using a clever trick. Released tons of sterile male flies to reduce the population. Now authorities are reviving that playbook building new sterile fly factories in Texas and investing millions to stop another agricultural nightmare. I mean, who even invents sterile fly factories? That's some sci-fi stuff. Except, spoiler, it works. Imagine a tiny maggot with the bite force of a fully caffeinated drill boring through live flesh. That's where the name screwworm comes from. Literal screw meets worm. Freaky, right? Yet treatable, if caught early. Still, for the cattle industry, it's no joke. A serious outbreak could hammer the Texas beef economy by nearly $1.8 billion. So, yes, it's a wallpaper nightmare, but the good news, this was travel-associated, quickly treated, and the odds of it spreading are slim. Still, the silent alarm bells are ringing. Because if this pest sneaks in through livestock, it could star in a real-life horror sequel nobody asked for. Remember that flesh-eating parasite in the U.S. hook? It's real, but contained. For now. Want more updates and creepy cool science explained with no sugarcoating? Hit subscribe and let's keep an eye on this together.